In the last episode, I continued with my series about how I like to apply one of my favorite finishes. And uh, in particular, I covered the subject of filling wood grain. And uh, I mentioned using um, a basically a 50-50 mix of mineral spirits and polyurethane, and then sanding that into the surface using 320 grit wet dry sandpaper. And then I finished off by explaining how you can use H. Balin's 4F pumice uh, to help fill in uh, the pores and the grain on woods such as uh, mahogany or ash. Uh, in this episode, what I'd like to do is talk about a technique that I'm going to use for uh, applying a color tint to a bookmatch flame maple top. And I'm going to be using Artist Oil Paint to do this. So let's get started. There's a lot of different ways that I can apply color to the top of this guitar. And what I want to do is I want to bring out the, the figure in the flamed maple. And I could do that with uh, water-based and alcohol-based dyes. I could use uh, color-tinted stains. I could use um, tinted lacquer. Um, there's just a variety of different methods that I could use. But the way I'm going to do it for this guitar is I'm going to be using artist oil paint. And this particular color is uh, thalo blue. And what I'll be doing is applying it to the top and then um, rubbing it into the wood. And that will give it color and it will bring out the figure. Now, one of the disadvantages of using artist oil paints is an artist oil paint is basically a pigment which has been mixed in with linseed oil. And it can take an incredibly long period of time to dry. That's why artists like it so much because they can work on a painting, leave it, and then come back um, hours, even days later, and it's still wet and they can continue working on it. Well, that doesn't work really well for luthiers. We need this stuff to dry quicker. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to be using Japan Dryer to, to do two things. It will help thin the mix of color so that it penetrates better into the wood, but then it will greatly speed up the time it takes to dry. So um, now the first thing I'm going to do, since I only want blue on the maple and not on the mahogany, is I've already gone ahead and masked off um, right where the mahogany meets the, the maple so that I won't get any blue color on the, on the mahogany. So, and so the way I'm doing this is I'm squeezing out just a small amount onto a clean cloth and then just kind of wiping it around on the surface. Uh, I'm not too worried about perfectly even coverage at this point. I just want to get some of the color on there. It's kind of crummy right now, but... So then, what I do next is I will take another clean cloth apply the Japan dryer to it and just start working that in. And we want to try to get it all spread evenly on the surface. See the Japan dryer not only will help speed up the drying process, but what it really does nicely is it thins out the, the artist oil so that it spreads out more evenly on the, to the wood. So this is how the uh, flame maple turned out after applying my blue artist oil paint and then rubbing it into the wood uh, using a cloth that was dampened with the uh, Japan dryer. And um, it took a little bit of work to get it consistent and even, um, but it wasn't too hard. And then I also did uh, the back of the neck as well. So now I'm in the midst of doing the next step of the process, and that is sealing the color into the wood and I'm using my, the same mix that I used when I filled the, the grain. It's equal parts of um, mineral spirits and polyurethane. 
and I just make sure that I completely coat the entire surface and I'm actually going to do the entire guitar body itself so that I have a continuous or homogeneous um, coating of the mineral spirits and polyurethane and then I'll let that dry overnight um, or it'll probably take four to five hours to dry so I can probably get on uh, two coats of it uh, in one day and with this particular mix I'll typically do anywhere from three to four coats because you'll notice as you apply the first coat it soaks into the wood and that's a good thing because you want it to soak in and really bond that color to the wood uh, however um, if you start or continue to add coats, you'll notice that after a while it stops soaking in and then it starts to build up on the surface. And that's kind of what you're looking for, is you want that, that uh, the polyurethane to actually be drying on the surface rather than soaking into the wood. I'm gonna do the entire body. I usually start with the front so I can grab the pickup cavities. Do the back and like I said you want to make sure you get thorough coverage um, no spots left uncovered uh, and you know that's another reason why you want to do more than one coat because when you do several coats you're assured of getting every bit of the surface covered with the polyurethane and mineral spirits so Of course, the neck, it's the same treatment, and I'll probably put a little bit more on the neck, build up more coats. Okay, so in the next episode, what I'm going to do is show you how I build up the uh, clear protective coatings using uh, my oil varnish mix. So stay tuned. <laughs>